You know why I hated Obama's motherfucking guts? Because Obama was supposedly the first black president. There's never been a black president in America. There's no such thing. There's never, ever been a black president in the United States of America on this timeline ever. Because, first of all, there's no such thing as a black human. There are no white humans. There are no black humans. There are no people who are white color, the color white, devoid of color. And there are no black people devoid of color because there are no people who are colored black or colored white. Look at a white house. Do you see anybody with that skin color on earth? Doesn't fucking exist. Look at a black car. Is there anyone on the planet? Even the darkest of skin colors in Africa? No, there's no such thing. Doesn't exist. There's never been a black U.S. president. Obama's not black because that's not his skin color. He's a brown dude and he's half Caucasian. So Obama was, accordingly, by way of science, the very first half Caucasian president. That's what he really fucking was. Given that I'm the same genetic makeup, essentially, as Obama, uh, largely skin color wise, given that he and I are both brownish, tannish, Caucasian ish. This fucking guy, I grew up around dudes like him who act like him. How does he act? He acts like a fucking crack smoker. How do I know? Because I grew up around crack smokers. I used to watch them smoke crack right in fucking front of me. And they would do their smoker moves. They would do their little, do the little jig, smoke the crack, hit the crack pipe and do a little dance. Like the, you know, like the, like the river dance, you know, do a little smoke, you know, do a little dance, smoke and dance at the same time, smoking the crack pipe, just hitting the pipe, just smoking. When I first heard Obama talk, and this is real, I'm, I'm 100% up front with this information. Fuck Obama, he's a punk. I fucking hate the dude, he's a terrorist traitor in my book, in my view, in my fucking opinion. Totally a fucking traitor to America. Absolutely helped the rise of ISIS. Total fucking fake out moves on his half, on his behalf, on his, on his part. Totally fucking doing shyster fucking moves. All intended to be against America. Absolutely a fucking psyop. Now I saw this shit coming. I told you this shit in the beginning. This dude, when he was in Chicago, I was in fucking Chicago. I heard him speak on TV and I thought to myself, damn, who is this dude? Sounded fucking fantastic. And I was like, who the fuck talks like this? And my half brother was like, uh, oh, that's the, um, that's the Senator or whatever. That's, uh, that's, that's Barack Obama. And I was like, Barack Obama, huh? That vaguely sounds familiar. Who the fuck? Obama? Mars? Shit. Obama. Mars? So I'm like, huh? So I listened to him talk. The first fucking time I heard him speak on TV on this timeline, I was like, huh, wow, that dude has fucking potential. Thereafter, I realized it was potential for fucking disaster because he's a goddamn fucking terrorist operator. Now, when I further observed his mannerisms... I realized that he had a fucking cocaine background, having admitted to using cocaine around the Harvard campus. So I'm thinking to myself, what? Who the fuck is doing cocaine in a drug-free zone in and around the uh, the Harvard campus and then goes on TV and gives this type of fucking speech? Like, what the fuck is this guy's fucking problem? Like... How stupid are you in the fucking first place to be doing coke at at Harvard University? Like, you're fucking dumb, man. Like, like that, that speaks volumes to me. That tells me something about a motherfucker who feels so privileged that he wants to fucking ruin it all 
by doing fucking cocaine at Harvard. Like, you make it to Harvard, which kids dream of, of doing, and then you do cocaine. You're a fucking idiot, dude. You're a fucking moron, and you're an absolute fucking imbecile. And you're fucking dumb, and I fucking dislike you. You're not a role model, dude. You're a piece of fucking shit. Seriously. Like, I can't get over that, and I'm not gonna. I am not going to get over that. You know why? Because that's not the extent of it. That's not all there is to it. Now, if you did cocaine at Harvard and you're like, yeah, dude, it was dumb. Like, I was just blowing some fucking, some coke, doing some blow. You know, it was stupid. I experimented with drugs, whatever is what you tell me. And then you're like, but you know what? I, you know, I, I got on with my life and I just like put it behind me. I don't know. I was like caught up in the minute, in the moment. And I did a little coke, did a little blow, right? I'd be like, all right, dude, whatever, man. You're in fucking Hollywood. <laughs> it's all Hollywood, right? Okay. But I'd still be like, but yo, that was stupid that you did coke in the first place. That shit is dumb, bro. Okay. That's not what Obama does. I know what the fuck he does. Because I know his personality type, I know his archetype, and I know about motherfuckers like Obama. The dude is a liar. He's a motherfucking liar. Now keep in mind, if you call yourself white, if you call yourself black, I'm both. And I know how motherfuckers think. Especially niggas who are half and half, just like me. So, genetically, I'm peeping this dude, like, yo, this dude, he claiming to be a black dude and shit. I don't hear him saying anything about how he's the first white, half white president, because that's what I would be saying. I'd be on TV like, yo, hey, yo, I'm one Sir Grove. I'm the, I'm, I'm America's, uh, first admitted half white, half black, half black, half white president. I'd be like, yo, I'm half white, half black, half black, half white. I'm half and half, 50-50. Fucking science of it all. Your first half and half president. This, this motherfucker Obama, it's all about, in his storybook, it's all about how he's this black dude. He's this black dude. He's this black dude. And I'm like, but you're not a black dude. You're not a black dude. You're not a black dude. You ain't black, dude. You're a fucking liar. I'm detecting the fucking smoker moves, and I'm seeing the smoker moves because I know where he's going with the trajectory of his deception from the beginning. But y'all weren't peeping it as I was in the beginning. I saw it from the beginning. So I'm like, man, this motherfucker's a smoker. This dude is a fucking crackhead, basehead, dope fiend who made it to fucking Harvard on some affirmative action type shit. And this punk motherfucker is going to try to pull the wool over America's eyes. You know what he's going to do? I know what he's going to do. He's going to hit these motherfuckers off, i.e. the American people, with some pipe dream some smoker fucking ass smoker dope fiend move of a maneuver about healthcare. Watch. Boom. He fucking does just that. Because, man, if you tell seniors, if you tell old folks, if you tell senior folks, elderly folks, if you tell them, yo, we got you, we got you, we got you, free healthcare for all Americans, for all Americans. That's a smoker move. That's a goddamn fucking base head Crack cocaine, shucking and jiving, shucking and fucking jiving. And I can say that shit, man. Fuck Facebook. Fuck Facebook. Fuck fucking Facebook. That's a shucking and jiving fucking move. That's right. That's right. Is that racist to say shucking and jiving? Fuck you. Shucking and jiving, base head, down south, minstrel fucking maneuver. Base head, pipe in fucking hand, move. Yeah, you want to pull the wool over America's eyes. You're going to play the stereotype now. Now he's playing the race card. Now he's playing the healthcare card. Where's this nigga going with this shit? Where's this half white con man going with this shit? I know 
this nigga's about, this half-white dude is about to fucking do the terrorist op. Hey, man, you want to hook me up to military-grade biometrics? You want to hook me up to military-grade biometrics? Not only do I firmly believe what I've just told you, it is absolute fact what I have just conveyed and expressed and communicated and disseminated to the public. I knew that motherfucker was going to go terrorist. Absolutely. fucking lutely You know why? He's a hateful, half-white, half-black, tan, brown motherfucker who hates America. You know how I know? Because I know human psychology, and I saw it written all over his motherfucking aura from the fucking gate, from the beginning, because he started the patterns of lies. Yeah, he's a black man throwing a football, playing fucking, playing basketball. He's on the beach. He's, man, I, man, I mean, man, man, if you don't fucking see that shit, that shit is crystal fucking clear. That shit crystallized. And I'm like, mm hmm, watch, boom, 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 yep, healthcare, okay, running for president, okay, now he's in control of nuclear weapons, all right, here we go. And it, and it played out exactly the way that I knew that the shit was gonna play out. This dude's pretending to be a fucking Christian. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, wow, really? Barack? Who sane Obama with some mysterious motherfucking background, right? Yeah. Now check this out. To this day, I'm going to tell you, to this day, I don't give a fuck if the Central Intelligence Agency evaluated the information. I don't give a fuck if motherfucking DARPA looked at the data. I do not believe to this day that Barack Obama, and I don't give a fuck what you think to the contrary, I don't really think he is a U.S. citizen, man. I really don't. I think what happened was those those people at that hospital, I think that they uh, had empathy for his mother. And they're like, all right, just here. Here's the paper. He's he's an he's an American. Born, he's an American born child. And uh, yeah, so you're 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 good to go. That's my belief. So he gets the piece of fucking paper. Right. And so now all of a sudden he's an American. I looked at all the data forensically, man, in terms of his social security number. I looked at all that shit. That shit doesn't fucking add up. And I have worked in international, transnational, multinational investigations. I've been at the Department of Justice. I've been at different agencies that I'm not supposed to fucking talk about openly and tell you about. And they told me to use maximum discretion. I don't fucking believe his story. I don't believe, I don't believe that he is who the fuck he says he is, man. And there's something really fucking funny, really strange and really fishy about his fucking social security number. Yeah, there really fucking is. And his grades and everything and all of his fucking goddamn lies and, and the Jeremiah Wright shit. Yeah, he distanced himself from Jeremiah Wright. Come on, dude. Come on, you motherfucking pipe smoker. Come on, you motherfucking rockhead. You goddamn fucking dope fiend ass, liar ass, motherfucking terrorist facilitator. Yeah, I already know, man. I saw all the shit unfold. I pleaded and begged my friends, my colleagues, and I was like, yo, dude, this dude is deceitful. And they're like, what are you talking about, Grove? Like, I mean, come on, dude, just give the guy a chance. And I'm like, oh my God, do you know what you're in fucking store for here? Okay, do, do, can you fathom it? Like, can you wrap your, your brain, your mind, your body, your soul around it? Like, do you comprehend it? And they fucking ran with it, Seattle ran, oh, we're embracing Obama, and then you had those stupid fucking kids, Obama, 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 some tribal dance bullshit, like, I mean, dude, fucking really, with their whole frat shit, Obama, 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 what, African warlord terrorist, man, like Charles fucking Taylor, seriously, dude, these people are so brainwashed, they're so fucking weak-minded, these people are so primitive. They'll believe, like Hitler said, anything you tell them as long as you say the same shit over and over indefinitely ad nauseum, ad infinitum. Just say it over and over again and they'll fucking buy it. 
And that's what they did. They bought his pipe dream. They bought the smoke that was blown up their fucking asses. And I told you and them so. From the fucking beginning. If you go back and you look at my internet post, man, I told you from day fucking one. I told all of you from fucking day one. The whole thing where there was a fatwa that was uh that was uh that was issued and they put out a hit on him, that shit was bullshit too, man. That shit was man, that whole thing within the the, the uh Islamic community, the 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 Muslim community, that shit was contrived too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain how, how and why. He wanted to make it appear as if he was doing the whole Hegelian fucking maneuver. Okay? Uh, stratagem. He was pretending like he was the solution. Like he had the solution. He had the solution when he's the one that was helping the rise of ISIS. He did it. He knew he's, he fucking planned it. He did it, he premeditated it, he conceived of it in his mind, and he carried it out because he knew that America was under his fucking spell. He knew that he had motherfuckers hypnotized with his pipe dream, that he blew up the asses of all these poor people, man, very sad, these these retirees, these seniors, these, these poor, these poor Americans, and I say poor in the sense that it's pathetic, dude, and it's fucking sad and it's tragic. What the fuck he did to the United States, man. He wreaked fucking havoc on America, man. And with all those drones, all those targeted drone strikes and all that shit that he supposedly did to kill Al Qaeda operatives and all this shit, that was all a ruse. All that shit was a ruse because all of the other shit he was doing on the side, manipulating the Justice Department, manipulating the CIA shaping fucking intel to make it look like it was one way when it really wasn't that fucking way. Putting his operatives, his pawn operatives, his pawns, and his bishops and all these different fucking chess pieces over here and over there, all that shit was a setup, man. With Hillary Clinton, Benghazi, all of that shit was coordinated. Eric Holder, fucking Loretta Lynch, Al Sh- all those motherfuckers were in on all the shit. He orchestrated all of that shit, okay? That's what a fucking Harvard dope fiend fucking Islamic terrorist pretending to be a fucking Christian does, and that's what the fuck he did. Obama's not Christian, dude. That dude's a motherfucking liar. That dude hates America. That dude hates people. He hates white people. He's half white. He's not accepted really honestly among Black African Americans in different areas and 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 different subsets of the human population. So he pretends. He pretends as much as he can to gain their trust or try to sway them over to him, over to his side. Oh yeah, look, man, I'm throwing a fucking bat. I'm throwing a, a football and a frisbee. And look, I'm going for a layup. Yeah, I got my shirt off on the beach. Look how athletic I am. Look how black African American I am. Right? Right. So then he appeals to the senses of poor folk. Right? He's got the whole damn thing going on. He's got all these fucking rallies talking about change and all this shit. This nigga is fucking sinister. And I know, I know, because, man, I peaked the motherfucker's energy. I peaked his energy from fucking day uno. Numero uno. Day motherfucking one. I was locked onto that fucking frequency, man. Yeah, that electronic fucking signature. And I knew that shit from fucking day one. From the very motherfucking beginning. And then I had to endure the presidency of a fucking terrorist and knew that in the end people who had supported him many of them would ultimately wake up from the spell and be like oh shit Grove you were right what the fuck and I told you guys man I told you from fucking day one 